Hi friends, welcome to HDL Lectures. Let us continue with our CMA Foundation series. So my topic today is Micro and Macroeconomics. We know that study of economics was diversified during the process of development of economical studies. The economists have clearly defined or bifurcated the studies into two series that is micro and macroeconomics. It is a two branches in economics. This branch is introduced by the economist Ragnar Frisch. He analyzed the economics into micro and macro system and it is developed by Marshall and others in a deeper manner. What is microeconomics? The micro, the word is derived from Greek word micros. That means it's very small or million spot. Or we can uh, compare this micro as a microscope. When you're looking to microscope, you can see the minute parts in a particular matter. So in the same way, when you look into economy, you can have two areas. You can see the individual parts. Uh, that means, uh, let me give you an example like consumer consumer is an individual part in an economy or a producer is an individual part in an economy a firm an industry these all are individual units in an economy these individual units or their behavior their activities are studied in the economy so this economical study or when you study about an individual unit in the economy that study is known as microeconomical study that means you are studying an individual unit like a consumer, a producer or a firm. So whenever you study about a consumer's behavior or a producer's behavior or a firm's behavior, that you are studying microeconomics because it is a minute part in the economy. That is, it's a millionth part in the economy. Microeconomy explains how a consumer gets maximum satisfaction or it explains how a producer gets maximum output. It also explains how a firm get maximum profit. These all these studies are part of microeconomical study because it is based on individual units. It's a behavior of individual units. So we can say that all these are included in microeconomical study. And microeconomical study explains how to be how to price your product. You can price your product by studying economy. When you study the demand or when you study the supply or when you study about the market, you can say that there is a price fixation. This price fixation is done in microeconomical study. So microeconomics is also known as price theory because price determination is done in microeconomical study, not in macroeconomical study. So price theory is an another name for microeconomics. In the same way, what is macroeconomics? Macroeconomics is also derived from Greek word that is macros. It means large or very big. When you study the economy, not as an, in, an individual unit, but as an aggregate or the overall economical analysis, then you can say that you are studying macroeconomics. You are taking the aggregate of all the factors in the economy. And you are not considering the individual parts, but you are considering the overall aggregate total parts in the economy. Then you can say that you are in a macroeconomical study. For example, like national income. National income is not a thing which can be done in individual situation. It's an aggregate study. You cannot study national income on individual basis. You can study only based on aggregates. So it's a, uh, it's a macroeconomical study. When you study about the national income, it's a ma macroeconomical study. And the same case, you can see the full employment. Full employment is also an aggregate study. Total output in the economy. How much India produced during the year 2017? What are the investments made by the country in 2017? All these are study of macroeconomy. The total investment, total consumption, everything relates to macroeconomical study. This macroeconomical study is also known as income and employment theory because in macroeconomics, mostly we study or we uh, analyze these two concepts, income and employment. So we say that it's an income and employment theory.
these are the some economical mi- macro economical studies that uh, theory of output theory of employment theory of trade cycle theory of inflation theory of economic growth micro theory of distribution demand everything is related to macro economical study because it is not studied on individual unit but it's e- it studied on aggregate level we cannot consider the single unit in this macro economical study but we have to consider the aggregate or total values to be meaningful so this is what the macro economical study is about i hope you all understood what i have mean by micro and macro economics uh, thank you thanks for watching